Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. For decades, Americans have been told to cut or eliminate refined and starchy carbohydrates. Now enter resistant starch with claims that you'll become lean and healthy by losing all the fat that you've gained over the years. It would appear that eating starchy foods is not as bad as some people claimed. Or is it? In this video, I'll look at what is resistant starch, its health benefits, sample high resistant starch foods, and is it okay to eat starchy foods? Starch, like cornstarch, is a large molecule made entirely of glucose molecules. Eating starchy foods can cause blood glucose spikes. Major sources of starch include grains, legumes, and tubers. There are three types of starch, rapidly digested, slowly digested, and resistant. There are five known types of resistant starch that varies depending on the type of starchy food. In 2016, the US FDA approved a qualified health claim that resistant starch may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Like most dietary health claims, the key word is may reduce the risk, not will reduce the risk. Unlike rapidly digested starch, resistant starch acts like dietary fiber. It passes through the small intestine undigested and is consumed or fermented by large intestine bacteria. Like most dietary health claims, your overall diet is more important than one food, group of foods, or nutrient. Increasing resistant starch in your diet will not offset the effects of high-calorie refined carb foods. Some estimates claim Americans eat between 3 to 6 grams of resistant starch a day. A 2,000 calorie diet that is 50% carbohydrates provides 250 grams of sugar, starch, and fiber. Unlike fiber, there is no recommended dietary allowance for resistant starch. Cooked rolled oats is about 2% resistant starch. The same rolled oats in a cookie provides about 39% resistant starch. While the cookie provides more resistant starch, it also provides significantly more calories from refined flour and sugar. Refrigerating starchy foods increases the amount of resistant starch, but in the case of white rice, it's only 6% of total starch. Cooked pearl barley is about 9% resistant starch, but combined in this bean and barley soup, the white beans are 27% resistant starch. You'll get about 6% RS from cold cooked pasta compared to 60% for frozen green peas. Cold cooked potatoes are a better source of resistant starch than pasta or rice. Like beans, lentils are an excellent source of resistant starch. One of the best sources of resistant starch is green bananas. As bananas ripen, starch is converted to sugar. If the thought of eating green bananas isn't appealing, Try adding a green banana to your favorite smoothie recipe. Are bad carbs back on the menu thanks to resistant starch? It depends on your overall health and dietary needs. Most low-carb diet plans still reduce or eliminate refined grains and starchy vegetables. Low-carb fad diet weight loss plans are designed for overweight and obese people. Media hype about resistant starch provides deprived American fad dieters an opportunity to eat forbidden foods. Eating a balanced diet provides more health benefits than increasing resistant starch to 10% or more of total carb calories. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating!